While voters in the city of Ionia will decide on two changes to the city charter next week in the November election, city leaders say the size of Ionia is driving the proposed amendments. Fox 17 Sam Landstra explains the possible changes. The First Amendment proposes a change to the city clerk's office, refitting that smaller part-time job to a full-time position that's appointed by the city council. Now, currently, the public elects the Ionia city clerk. Now, that Second Amendment, it would make all of the city's current elected offices nonpartisan, taking the R's and the D's off the ballot. For a town of 13,000, the city manager claims it's time to keep up with the times. You know, we're not telling people how to vote. 1030 at the Ionia City Hall, less than a week before the election. But we are telling them why we're requesting the change. And the city's top election official, still part-time, is out of the office. She is retired. She thought she was coming into a position where she's just giving back to her community. She's going to be working maybe 10, 15 hours a week tops, and she's stressed. The city wants to amend its 30 year old charter to fit the demands of the modern democratic process. She is very supportive of uh, this change as well, recognizing you know what it really takes to run an election in today's world. If passed, the new clerk would be recommended by city manager Precia Garland and appointed by the city council, put in charge of voter registration, absentee ballots and applications, as well as polling places. We all know that the longer we're in our jobs, the more experience we gain, the more competent we become, right? Through that full-time salary, the city wants to incentivize a long-term commitment to the position. I think that it becomes more evident than ever that we've outgrown this model. But if Ionia is too big for a part-time clerk, Garland says they're too small for partisan elections. But again, I would argue that most of the issues that we deal with at the local level, it doesn't matter whether, whether there's an R or a D behind your name. If the Second Amendment passes, the mayor, council, and clerk won't be affiliated with a political party. You can be a Republican or a Democrat. You still want your water to go down the drain when you either flush or you're running your sink, right? I'm just, you know, Joe Citizen that wants to get involved. I get 25 signatures from people who are registered electors in my ward, I'm eligible to run. I don't need an endorsement of a political party. Now these amendments, if approved, would go into effect in 2026. And the city says that if the city clerk position changes are voted down, they'll likely create a deputy clerk position to help with the workload. For now in studio, Sam Lanstra, Fox 17 News.